And here we have questing and specifically combat quests in Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, most of the quests that players are going to be doing are combat related. Um, even missions that are more covert operations or retrieving items or finding contacts will, will always require some sort of combat for the most part to get to. And um, just showing off some of the Sith Inquisitor abilities. Uh, one of my favorite abilities is actually called Seath, even though it's a sort of a out of combat regeneration ability, it's pretty awesome. So a lot of combat is like this and if you notice I have a, a second character with me and that character is, is one of my companions and companions are in a combat context just like players they can be healed, buffed, they have their own threat table. The, the companion that I'm using is actually a, a tank related type character. He holds very good aggro for me and um, I'm just keeping him alive while I take down this elite boss. Usually enemies with a yellow gold border in Star Wars The Old Republic are, are elites and harder than average, you know, some more than others. And so for quest updating, it's pretty cool. Um, basically, often quests that are updated will occur in real time with little drop droids that come down and, and tell you what's going on. And you can see that right here. The little droid is giving me some schematics of what's going on with the quest and updating it for me.